Welcome to Woodshed Z. My name is Oscar Zibberth. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It'll keep you up to date with new activities as they happen. We do videos on Wednesdays, and this week we're comparing two different Fender Jazzmaster instruments. And this is a bit of a continuation of two different videos that we've done in the past, one of them being a Jazzmaster shootout, and one of them being a Stratocaster shootout featuring the new Professional series in that case as well. When I bought my Squire Jazzmaster, it was because I wanted certain features that Fender was not including on those instruments as options. And since I've been using that guitar, they have revised their line with the Professional Series, and I'm curious to see whether or not the modifications that they've selected are as much to my liking as the ones from the Squire instrument. Basically, those included a maple neck with a maple fretboard, which hasn't been available for a very long time, um, a three-way switch with a master volume, master tone control, and... Um, yeah, there was a different bridge that was installed as well on the Professional Series. It's more of a Mustang style versus the traditional Jazzmaster style. On my Squire, it is a Mastery M1 bridge, as well as a Bigsby B5 vibrato system versus the new redesigned American Professional Jazzmaster style vibrato system. Of the two, the Bigsby has a lower range of detuning motion, and the um, Jazzmaster one is much more violent in terms of how much you detune in a short distance. If you move your wrist just a little bit, you can get a lot of pitch variation. So uh, to each their own, I'm more comfortable with the Bigsby, but they both do their thing quite well. Um, we're going to compare the two into three different amplifiers that we usually use on the program, played both clean and distorted using a um, Bogner Wessex overdrive pedal for the dirt and uh, both the Bogner Wessex and the American Professional series of Fender guitars are available from our friends at Stang Guitars. So we're going to feature those two instruments and see whether or not there's much of a difference in the wiring or whether there's much of a difference in the sound. I do know that uh, pickup wise there's been some documentation that the American Professional Jazzmaster pickups are not wired or built traditionally in the same way that older Jazzmaster pickups are in the Squire that has been upgraded to Seymour Duncan Antiquity ones in the American Professional those are stock American Professional Jazzmaster pickups which uh, from what I've read are closer in style uh, build build style to what a Stratocaster pickup would be like underneath the hood so you let me know what you think this week on Woodshed Z two Jazzmasters going head to head for your listening and viewing pleasure